Start out, reach your hands up. Just a quick stretch to wake up a little bit. Release your arms, exhale. Give yourself a few moments to check in with that standing posture, Tadasan, Mountain Pose. Arms out next to the side, thighs firm, feet hips width or closer, shoulder blades down and back. I'm gonna move here in just a moment, so if you need to move around or stretch up your arms again, we're gonna start with Surya Namaskar C. Inhale, reach your arms. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Take an easy little lift up halfway and lengthen out as you inhale. And then step that left leg back, lower your left knee down. Moving into low lunge, Anjaneyasana on your inhale. I like to interlace my fingers and flip my palms up. It gives me a nice little shoulder stretch and a chest opener. Exhale, place your palms. Start to stretch out your right leg, pull the right hip back. Hamstring stretch in that right side, just for a brief mom moment, and then step back, downward facing dog. Use your next inhale to come forward into plank pose, bending the elbows 90 degrees, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Couple breaths here, spread the fingers, drop the gaze under, firm your thighs. Now take that left foot up inside your left thumb. On your exhale, lower the right knee, and then inhale. Start to set up for that low lunge on the second side, Anjaneyasana. Left, left sit bone under and forward. Reach your chest, stretch up. And then release your arms on your next exhale. So these movements are just to get your body moving and flowing. If you need an extra breath or two in each one, feel free. Stretch out that left leg, left hip pulls back. And then step up, inhale, look up, forward fold, exhale. Coming all the way back up, inhale, reach your hands up over to Hastasin, exhale, Samastitihi, release your arms to the side. Move around as you need, so if you need to move any kinks out, do that. Movement is good. Inhale, Ordva, hands up. Forward fold, exhale, Uttanasan. Do the second side here. Look up halfway, inhale, lengthen out, Ardha Uttanasan. Go ahead and step the right leg back, right knee down, reach your arms, low lunge. On your exhale, release your hands. Step back, downward facing dog. Exhaling. On your inhale, lift your heels way forward. Chaturanga, exhale. Back bend, inhale. Adho Mukha Svanasana, exhale. And take your right foot up inside your right thumb. Left knee down, exhale. Inhale, reach your arms up. Stretch across the front of the body and release on your exhale. Follow your breath. Step up, inhale, look up. Hug in, exhale, hugging in towards the shins with your chest. Inhale, Ordva Hastasan, Samastitihi, exhale, releasing your arms. Inhale, reach, Ordva, forward fold, exhale, Uttanasan. Lengthen out, inhale, and take the feet back, Chaturanga, exhale, lower down. You can step or hop back, it's up to you. If you're hopping, bend your elbows as your feet shoot back. Make your way through that vinyasa, ending in downward facing dog. Take a few moments here to shake out your head, to move your legs around if you need to. So if you didn't get enough time in downward facing dog, that first set of sun salutation C, and take the time here to really enjoy this posture, pressing the thighs back. I'm going to use a couple handstand um, techniques here. So waving forward into plank pose, really pressing the mat away and taking my shoulders over the middle backs of my hands. And that helps to kind of get those wrists and, and arms used to holding up your weight and hands. And if you have it in, you go for a little handstand hop and then lower your legs down slowly right in between your hands or behind your wrists. Look up and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ord Vahastasan, reach up, tailbone south, fingertips north. Samastitihi, exhale. <laughs> Inhale, reach your hands, Ordva. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasan. Warm up with a couple more of these sun salutations. Lengthen out, inhale, and shoot it back. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog, and exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Take a couple breaths here. Just stretching, just moving. Make sure your head is heavy. Make sure your belly is engaged. Use those calf muscles to pull those shins back. And then again, we're going to move into those handstand um, preparatory movements. So plank pose, taking the shoulders over the middle backs of your hands. And you can stick with this for now, or you can add in a couple of handstand hops. Um, I like to take the wide angle, kind of a straddle-ish uh, attempt into the handstand. It helps heat up my hip flexors and the lower abdominals uh, before I move into a straight leg press. 
and then hug in on your exhale once you're finished working with those. Inhale, Ordva, all the way up. Samastitihi, exhale, release your arms. And just do one more here, get the blood really flowing. Inhale, Ordva, Hastasana, exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Cobra or up dog, inhale, and make it back. Exhale, downward facing dog. See if you can get those heels to pull down towards the floor and disappear behind. And then on your inhale, lift your left leg, stretch out the right hamstrings, the right inner groin. Lift your left leg on your next inhale. Take your time here. I was in a rush, so I had to get through it. So feel free to pause and um, go slower than I am. Downward facing dog, another breath or two. And then step that right foot up, come into high lunge, inhale, keep the left inner thigh lifted up to the ceiling, the left leg active, the right knee going straight forward, high lunge, Ashta Chandrasana. You can stretch out the arms, the shoulders, any way that you wish here. Place your palms, exhale, swing that right leg up, inhale, three leg dog. And step that left foot up a little closer so you can play with some handstand hops, knee into chest is the easiest way to hold. And then chaturanga, exhale. And you can either kick it back from handstand or you can step from the handstand hops right into chaturanga. And take the opposite side, high lunge. Left foot up inside the left thumb, right leg straight, inner right thigh lifts up. Hey, you still there? Yeah, just checking in with you. <laughs> and again, take the shoulder stretches, chest opening, back bending, whatever feels good to you. Move around, take a couple breaths, just heating up the body. Swing it up, three leg dog with the left leg lifted. Again, the right leg's gonna hop in a tiny bit, move, play with some handstand hops. So, you know, maybe playing with your feet as your brake pedals and the core and the legs. I mean, everything is involved here. It's just really getting used to the wrists supporting your weight. They're not used to it. Make way back to downward facing dog. Head heavy, right foot steps. Ooh, right into it. Warrior one, inhale. Press into the outer edge of your left foot. Inner right knee goes forward, right sit bone under and forward. Stretch your chest, you can look up to your hands. Place your palms, swing that right leg up, inhale, three leg dog. Stretch out your shoulders, hop your left leg up. Gonna do a handstand hop, Ooh, a couple maybe, a few maybe. And then you're gonna uh, kind of scissor kick the legs, so switch the legs so the right foot comes down, so the left leg is up in three leg dog. And then you step your left foot up for warrior one. So think of that handstand transition as kind of like a hop switch. Warrior one, seal the outer right foot, inner left knee bends forward, use your right thigh. And release your hands on your next exhale. Swing that left leg up, inhale, hop the right foot up a little closer, and take those handstand hops, a couple, three, maybe even four, it just depends. Maybe you're just sticking with the handstand hops. Next time you handstand hop, if you switch your legs real quick and land with the left leg down, the right leg up, whoop, there you go. And there you are, ready to go. Step your right foot back up top of the mat. Inhale, warrior two. So this is a really quick practice, just a nice little express flow using the handstands as the transition in and out of each posture. So stick with those handstand hops if you prefer. And who knows, you might just find yourself floating in handstand one day. Side angle when you're counting uh, five or so breaths in, in warrior two, and then move through about five more breaths of side angle. Sweep that right leg up when you're finished and use your handstand hop switch to switch sides. There you go, right leg down, left leg's up now, three leg dog, and then you're gonna exhale, swing that leg through. Right heel down, warrior two, Virabhadrasan B, look out over your left fingertips, bend the inner left knee forward, soften the back of the shoulders, lift the triceps up to the humerus, the arm bones. And then after you spend a few breaths here, you can start to move it into side angle, taking the right hand up overhead, left hand to the floor, or your elbow to the thigh, either one. Use that inner or right thigh to lift away from the floor. Seal the outer right foot down. When you're finished, swing the left leg up. I'm gonna do another handstand hop switch right into the next posture. So hop that right foot forward, handstand, couple attempts here, and then switch sides. Right leg is up now. And you're going to swing it through so you can turn the left heel down and come back into warrior two, looking right out over the right fingertips. And straighten your right leg for Uttita Trikonasana. Again, take your time if you're not in a hurry. Stretch your left hand up. 
reach your right hand down to where it hits without turning your body past the midline. So we're not trying to turn the torso down to the floor. All right, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. So come forward onto a right knee bend. Place your right hand out in front of the right pinky toe about six, six inches diagonally, and your left hand stretches up. Press back through your left foot. Gaze can stay down until you get your balance. Use the right hip. Use the right external obliques to really pull the hip in and up. Gaze can turn up to your left hand when you're ready. Exhale, release, standing split, forward fold over your right leg. Inhale, lift up and lengthen. Take that right leg back for the handstand hops. Try to catch a split here or maybe the right knee into the chest. Any kind of different little leg variation that will help hold your balance up. So the splits are easier to hold your balance up here because you've got a leg behind you and a leg in front of you trying to balance out that weight distribution. Kick it back to three leg dog. You're gonna bend that right knee now and open your hip and then turn to the outer edge of your left foot so you can flip it over into a wild thing. Really press into the left foot and turn the left hip up to the ceiling. Come all the way down to the floor to that left hip and take your right leg in front of your left leg. Take a little bit of an IT band stretch here. So on the right hip and the left hip, you're gonna feel it. I like to wrap my arm behind my leg. You don't have to do that. Maybe it's simply just leaving your hand on the floor or wrapping around the front of your shin. Try to forward fold here, flex the left ankle and breathe. And more importantly than anything is to breathe. And when you're ready, turn out of that, swing the right leg up. And again with the handstand transition, hop switch, right leg down, left leg up. Take the left foot up inside your left thumb, come up to stand warrior two just briefly and then as you straighten your left leg prepare for Uttita Trikonasana. Exhale, right hand stretches up, left hand down, lift your right hip up, press into the right heel to push that right hip up to the ceiling. breaths here lengthening out stretching and then switching into transitioning rather into half moon taking your weight forward to your left leg pressing your right hip up pressing back through your right foot and stretch your right hand up gaze can turn up when you're ready and if you <laughs> almost fall laugh <laughs> smile it's okay And then forward folding over that left leg back into the standing splits just for a moment, preparing to again take the handstand, hop. Step your left leg back so you can start to press your legs up to the ceiling and see if you can catch that split, stretching your legs from toe to toes to toes. Awesome. Switch, right leg down, left leg up this time. Bend the left knee, flip your dog, wild thing. Pressing into the outer edge of your right foot, turning the right hip up to the ceiling, right ribs up to the ceiling. And you're going to lower down slowly for that stretch again. Seated, take your left leg over in front of your right leg. Flex your right, uh, right ankle and you can either snuggle the left shoulder behind the left leg or wrap it around the front of the left shin. Play with a few different options, see how it feels. Forward folding here, just relaxing for a moment or two. And then when you're finished with that, you can turn out, swing the left leg back up, inhale, and hop switch. So step your right leg up so that you can hop up switch. Left leg down now, right leg to the ceiling. Knee up behind the right wrist, the right knee behind the right wrist to the floor for Ekapadarash Kapatasan, one leg king pigeon prep. You can either reach your arms up for a back bend, and if that's too aggressive, you can take the hands out in front and even the elbows down to the floor, and then take a forward fold. A few moments here, just stretching out that right piriformis, pointing the left toes straight back. And then coming back up to a seated upright position, tuck the left toes under so you can start to press up into side plank and grab the right big toe with the right index finger and middle finger, and then start to press the toe into the foot or the uh, toe into the fingers, and then pull back on the toe with the fingers. And so they're resisting each other, and it's going to help lift your right hip up even higher. Release one more time into wild thing here, just for a quick stretch, and then turn it back over, three-leg dog. going to do the hop switch again so that you can switch sides and start over from pigeon. And so just a couple little hops until the right foot comes down, left leg up, three-leg dog. And then take the left knee up behind your left wrist and settle the right hip down behind your left heel. Again, you can stay for a moment or two in that back bend or the forward fold, maybe even splitting your time up between the, the two different options. 
back bend first if you're doing that, and then the forward fold second. Imagine you can kick that left shin up to the top of the mat. That'll help pull the tailbone down and release the low back. When you're ready, inhale, walk it back up. And you're going to catch that left foot now on the side plank. So brace your right arm, your right hand, your right foot. Turn over to the outer edge of the right foot. Maybe pull the left knee into your chest at first just to get the hip engaged. And then grab the left big toe and start to press your foot up to the ceiling. Push the floor away with the right foot and the right arm. Really lift the hips up, open up if you fall. Not a big deal, the floor is not that far away from you. Just let that left foot go and let it drop back behind you. And there you are right into a wild thing. <laughs> Turn over into that three-leg dog. Stretch it out. And then again, that handstand hop. Up and down a couple times. Maybe catching a few little <laughs> kicks. Flailing the legs around a little bit sometimes. It happens. Awesome. And then release your right leg. Downward facing dog. Enough of that. Come forward, chaturanga, exhale, cobra or up dog, inhale, and downward facing dog, exhale. Hop through, come to seated. Take the right heel up into the left hip crease, hip crease for half lotus. Grab the left foot with the right hand, or the right foot with the left hand, right hand. <laughs> forward fold. Ardhavada Padma Pachimottanasana. Just a couple breaths there, and then as you inhale, lift up. Switch sides, left hip, left heel, right hip crease. And then that left hand comes around and catches that left foot. Make sure out of the way there. <laughs> Square your hips, inhale, lift and lengthen, exhale, forward fold. And again, just a few breaths here, lengthening out, releasing the left hip. Okay, inhale to rise, release the half lotus. I'm going to set up for full lotus now. Right heel first, left heel second. Make sure your knees are pain free. You can always take double pigeon Agni Stambhasan. You can stack the shins on top or in front of each other. You can always take bound angle as well. So any seated forward fold that is happiness for you. This is my favorite. So this is where I went today. I'm going to take a bind. So the left hand comes around for the foot and then the right arm over the left arm for the other foot. So the left hand is to the left foot, the right hand is to the right foot. And then forward fold, you can take chin to the floor or have forehead to the floor, whichever one works easier for you. Take a few breaths there. Inhale, reach up. And then I like to flip it over onto my belly from here, so i got to get back far enough so that I can actually rest on my mat. Um, but I do like to turn over and make sure that you're on the ball of your foot rather than top of your foot. So it's going to feel a little awkward. But you can just let the, your arms release down so you're not trying to manipulate this posture with your hands. Take a few breaths here, letting the hips open up. I did this today so that I could prepare for Ordva Kukutasan. It's an arm balance that I transition in uh, from tripod headstand with lotus. So this is going to help me get my hips open to be able to place my legs in lotus while in tripod headstand. Alright, so starting to come out of that, I'm going to roll back to my sitting bones. I'm going to take a quick vinyasa, though, just to un ungunk those knees. They kind of get a, get a little sticky sometimes in a lotus if I'm there for a while. So make your way through a vinyasa to kind of readjust and neutralize everything. I'm going to prepare for shirshasan tripod here. So palms on the floor, the head and the hands make a nice triangle, legs up in the air. I'm going to take that right foot and kind of scissor it in and out until it gets into the left hip crease. Now you can start from half lotus, so that right foot is already set up, and then it's a little easier to get the left foot in. So I actually have to use my arms to try to sneak that left foot in, so I'm kind of dropping and hooking that left foot and push it up with my arms. So once I get lotus set up here, then it's just basically working on the balance. And I like to move around a lot just so I can see which angles I need to get into of the hips um, for... Uh, for preparing for this arm balance because there's 
the knees eventually rest on the backs of your arms uh, and you got to have a nice little tight lotus in there and a nice little tight ball so now I'm going to drop my knees down to my triceps and start to roll into my forehead really press into the heels of my hands you got to have ultimate focus here honestly I don't even remember what I was thinking or seeing when I was doing this I just remember like everything was gone and all I saw was that mat and I heard my breath and that was it pressing the floor away oh slide it down <laughs> get out of that so even if you're just playing with a moment in that arm balance just take your time and always be patient with yourself jump through come all the way down to your back take a quick back bend to get out of that there's a lot of forward folding even though it was an inversion bridge pose then I'm gonna press it up into wheels so knuckles under the shoulders push the floor away I'm taking a pretty wide wheel here so I'm not gonna push it I haven't done a lot of back bending in this practice so it's really just for the purpose of stretching out the front of my body lowering down knees side to side for little windshield wipers and then, and then kick off the legs to one side for a twist take a few breaths and the twist favorite leg variation of your choice and then move it off to the other side releasing the back bend releasing those forward folds and preparing to take a brief little meditation or rest so I'm going to end it with a seated forward fold but before I do that I'm going to take a reclining forward fold so reaching up catching my toes and pulling them overhead and then I'm going to pull it on up to seated inhale and exhale hug in it's very calming seated forward fold for me really kind of seals the deal and integrates everything makes it all balanced so that I can sit and rest but I still feel really energized after that arm balance after the back bend I'm going to end in lotus, it's my favorite place to end, so I set up, take a brief little meditation, you can lie back and take a rest. No matter what you do, always take a moment to bow to you, bow to your efforts here and everywhere. Thanks yogis.